spoiler alert as you're getting dressed this morning. It is hot outside. You already know lightweight clothes, air conditioning and shade. They're all your friends to help beat the heat. But in this morning's wake up wellness, don't skimp on hydration. Nurse practitioner with WellMed at Landa Lakes, Tara Kali says, always keep water close by and drink more than you may think. Usually I recommend that my patients build in about a cup of water every 15 to 20 minutes if they're doing a lot of activity throughout the day. Um, people garden, people do their lawn work, people sometimes have jobs that are outdoors or people are in and out of buildings all day with their work that they're doing. It may seem like a lot of water, but um, we lose a lot of water just through our breathing. Plus we're perspiring. People may not realize it, but um, a lot of times by the time you feel that thirst, you're already dehydrated. So she says, think before, during, and after. So let's say that you are heading outside to garden. Drink water before you head outside. Drink it while you're working, and then drink it as you recover when you're done. And water is always best. You want to watch out for those energy drinks that can dehydrate you or have too much caffeine in them. Plus, pay attention to how your body is responding to the heat. If you're feeling dizzy or you have a headache, get into a cool spot immediately. And if you stop sweating altogether, well, that's an emergency, and you need to seek medical care. And here's a guide to just how much water you need. If you're going to be outside for an hour, drink one to two 16 ounce bottles of water. After four hours, you'll need four to eight bottles. And for a full day out in the sun, you'll need eight to 16 bottles a person. The older you are, the more water you need. And on average, men need more water than women. That breakdown is everything, right? Well, it's not just about drinking water and avoiding caffeine. Dr. Danielle Mercurio from Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital a sharper insight on what else we need. Heat exhaustion can occur from losing too much water and it can occur from losing too much salt. So you can drink all the water you want, but if you don't get those salts and sugars that your body needs to function and your muscles need um, to be able to function, you can get very, very, very sick. Obviously, you don't want that. No, yeah. so important, especially in this Florida heat, the humidity that we deal with if you're yeah. doing anything, exerting yourself, gardening, Working out Running, outside, yeah. 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 yeah, all that stuff. I mean, I know you work out inside. You know, you get on the bike, and I mean, even yeah, even inside, yeah. right? No doubt. I mean, it's funny. We follow each other on the Apple Watch. Yeah. You've probably seen I've been on the bike because right. of the temperatures yeah. you're talking about. But you still need to drink that water. It's amazing. You drink all the water, and you just don't feel like you're getting enough sometimes. Right, the yeah. electrolytes you, needed. Yeah, you do have to drink those electrolyte drinks. And you want to minimize the sugar, get those electrolyte you know, tabs or some of those drinks with low sugar, and it'll really help you out, even if you drink beforehand. I mean, it doesn't hurt, right? I mean, some days are better than others, though. Even if you're not yeah. going for you know, a run or you're going for a ride outside, it's probably a good idea. I mean, you're